okay folks welcome back now in this uh, lesson we're gonna be creating uh, the motion from here from here you see this big uh, rotation and also this part here that you can see okay so from here we're gonna be rotating the whole structure and then we're gonna be creating this uh, part this uh, fractures here okay so let's go ahead and get started here we are inside Cinema 4D and we have finished this motion. So that's what we have at the moment. Great. Now let's go ahead and add about frame 175. Okay. I'm going to uh, select my uh, master here and I'm going to start the uh, basically the rotation from 175. So let's go ahead and select this guy. And I'm going to select the position and also let's set a keyframe here. And also select the rotation and set a keyframe. And uh, we're going to, uh, you know, uh, maybe about 15 uh, frame. Let's go to something like 190, 191, something like this. And we're going to rotate and move our master controller and uh, to the other side. So let's go ahead and uh, rotate this. Uh, let's go to something like, uh, let's see, um, maybe negative, something like here. This is the cube, uh, not exactly this one. Let's go ahead, we still need to uh, go the other side. And uh, let's go to maybe just uh, negative 174, 75, let's see, something like that. And for here, let's go ahead so something like maybe this, this is the cube in question, cube number six, exactly. So let's go ahead and rotate these values. And uh, sorry, I just made a mistake. Uh, we're going to make sure the values are here. So it was negative 75, yeah. And then negative 177, and finally negative 174, okay. And let's go ahead and set a keyframe for them. And now we have this motion, you see? So if I hit play, boom, perfect. Now when we actually, it's a bit unnatural because it's so quick, but when we actually go to After Effects and add the motion blur, it's gonna look so nice and natural. So let's go ahead to here and uh, let's see. And let's change this values a bit. I'm gonna go ahead to kinda move my uh, whole, uh, structure a bit down maybe something like this and maybe okay I think that's nice let's go ahead and set a keyframe for these guys too and here is what we got perfect now uh, the next thing is to go ahead and actually add the uh, kind of those slice of cubes those uh, fracture that we had in here and if I get back to frame zero, uh, the cube in question is cube number six. And if I come here, I have this uh, side fracture zero four, which is, uh, as you can see, uh, just the same thing that we had before. So if I go ahead and let me just delete this uh, tag here and get out of my camera. So here is the, uh, the side fracture and it exactly is uh, in the position of our cube number six and if you take a look it's negative one nine five one nine five and negative one nine five uh, let's go ahead and add a null and I'm going to control C and control V here here is our null and let's go ahead and make this to be a child of our cube number six so let's go ahead and do that cube number six and if I get back to my camera uh, and if you go through there we go. Here is our uh, fractures. We can go ahead and hide cube number six and also enable the uh, null and the fractures. Now let's go ahead and quickly add a fall off here. So I'm going to go ahead and select this null and uh, uh, go to MoGraph, Effector, hold down shift and add a plane effector. Now let's go put this plane effector down here. I'm going to my side fracture 04, go to the effector and also let me just make sure rename this plane so we don't confuse there we go and I'm going to select the side fracture and put this plane side fracture 04 in here perfect uh, now the only thing I'm going to do um, 
is to zero out the values for this plane effector so it's going to be exactly here so let's go ahead and zero out all of these values and hit enter and as you can see if i change the falloff to be a linear falloff you can see what we have here i'm going just to change this to let's see positive x or positive y yeah that's what we want and if i move this you can see this is what we get at the moment perfect let's go ahead and work on the parameters a bit i'm going to um, a negative value maybe something like this and also i'm going to change the uh, positive y to be negative y okay and let's go to the parameters and let's uh, yeah i think we are wrong let's go to these follow for the moment and still negative y perfect now let's go ahead and enable the for the moment enable the scale uniform scale and as always negative one so that's what we have and let's go to the fall off and change it to positive y and see what's going to happen perfect and we can go ahead and kind of move our fall off this way perfect so let's go ahead and work on this i'm going to make the fall off to be a bit smaller maybe something like this and go to the parameters at the position uh, something like this not too much really and also let's go ahead and have some rotation here maybe something like this and if we can if we want we can actually add it this way too so I can go ahead and simply animate my camera my plane effector on y-axis so very simple great now let's go ahead and animate that uh, so at about frame 190 you see we get to here so it should already uh, we need to have a few cubes when we actually when we land the motion here so let's go ahead it's frame 190 right so let's go ahead and um, uh, I'm going to select my plane effector go to my coordinates I'm going to move it so let's go ahead maybe let's set a keyframe in here so and I'm going to about 50 frame maybe let's go to frame 250 and let's go ahead and move this thing here and set another keyframe okay and I'm going just to put this guy uh, maybe for about frame 160 so this way when we actually uh, rotate our structure we already have some cubes so just make sure I'm gonna put this value here maybe about 140 so we have uh, some cube when we go there okay there we go perfect that's what I want and it's gonna stay we're gonna be staying here about 20 30 frames you can see here's the camera moving and as you can see we actually didn't talk about the camera animation uh, and as you can see I have two old one for camera rotation and one for the camera position and the uh, why I really didn't go through the camera animation it would take forever and we already have a lot of courses uh, about the camera animation and all of the other courses that we have uh, uh, the gift project the box studio project and the uh, uh, real flow advanced motion graphic in cinema for the unreal flow we talk extensively about the camera animation and it would take really forever if we uh, want to you know go through the cameras animation and all of those delicate and very nice motion that we have for our camera it would be impossible so and uh, it would really make the animation much more harder if we had to move and animate the camera and the uh, whole structure here but uh, that's why I just uh, used the camera that I had before and I imported and we base our animation on that camera's motion and uh, if I found it kind of uh, useful I will kind of go through quickly how to set up your camera very quickly but uh, the motion of the camera will be uh, here is what we're using it so let's go ahead and uh, sit back so uh, that's nice you know it's kind of here and you know frame 190 we're gonna be for frame 220 so uh, you can see I'm going to maybe put this guy to about 300 so let's see what's gonna happen perfect and 220 and these guys are still working and our camera is moving and perfect so that's what 
uh, is uh, that's great so let's go ahead and uh, work on the rest of our motion in the next uh, lesson so see you there